Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, we got the new update live. I'm going to split this into two videos. We'll do Le uh, Lucilla first, who's the Hyper Gen, who I am more excited about. I have not read any of their skills, so I'm super keen to get into this and start reading their skills. I just loaded up as soon as I could get in. Uh, and then the next video we'll upload after this will be Liberta. If I've already done the Liberta video, I'll leave it in the description of this one and, you, or, and the pinned comment, and you can jump straight to that after this one. But for me, the appearance of the Hyper Gen is way better. I'm hoping she's a monster. I'm hoping she is Lucretia levels in campaign, but also very viable in everywhere else, in in Scramble, in, in Curse Realm and stuff like that, so that we can have a character that we can really aim for and works everywhere. That is my dream. First of all, let's go to the story and check out the 2D. Uh, the that, Honestly, 2D art for this one's sick as well. In-game sprite and 2D art, wicked. I love the weapon. I love everything about this character. I think she looks wicked. I think they realized after they did um, the ReZero collab that the, uh, you know, the wife herself. I, I, I think they've realized that <laughs> is what they're going with here. But I love this chick. I think she looks savage. Let's get into the skills. Wouldn't you know, this is the, this is the condensed version. And this is a Jesus. Okay. Guys, I haven't pre-read these, so buckle up. I could mess up heaps. Active. Lucilla consumes two... Oh, okay, yep. I, I love these ones. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I'm excited. Lucilla consumes 200 energy per second to create a domain around herself until all energy is exhausted. While active, the attack rating and defense rating of all allied heroes are increased by 30% of the attributes sealed by Lucilla's Crimson Scythe. So that's going to be something we find out later on. Enemies within the domain cannot gain shields. That's handy. Passive. Lucilla wields a, her crimson scythe. I was really, I love her weapon, by the way. To attack, sealing enemy heroes and reducing their attributes until she is defeated. Normal attacks, 5% to 30% of current defense rating. So I'm tipping her normal attacks uh, seal that much. Uh, seal 5% must be stacking. Moonshade Chase, which is another ability I'm assuming, 5 to 30% of current attack rating. Full Moon, 10 to 25% of current attack and defense rating. Each, uh, each enemy hero can be sealed for up to 40% of her initial attributes. Okay, so it's capped at hers. That kind of sucks for campaign and stuff. While fighting alongside Liberta, Lucilla's Crimson Scythe will always seal attributes for the maximum possible value and will also remove the enemy's punishing orbs. We'll have to see what punishing orbs are. Uh, skill ups while active, the attack rating uh, and defense rating of all allied heroes are increased by 50% of the attributes sealed by her. And I mean, this is a pretty big buff. Each enemy hero can be sealed for up to 60% of her initial values. So I'm tipping this is like a randomized value when you hit an enemy with these different attacks on what it goes. I don't think it's like a stacking thing. I feel like it's a randomized thing from one to one to the other. So we'll have to wait and see how that plays out. All right, next ability. Passive. Lucilla selects a random hero to chase. Ooh, that's going to be good for RNG battles. In each battle, she will select the opposing enemy first. Okay, so the one opposite her position is the way I understand it. Lucilla's ceiling effectiveness is increased by 75% against the chased target. Once the limit for the sealed attack rating is reached, Lucilla will select another enemy hero to chase. That's cool. Active portion. Lucilla launches a slash to attack the chase target, dealing damage equal to 300% of attack rating, stunning the target for two seconds, uh, and dashing to their location. Okay. And then we get uh, extends the duration of stun to three seconds. Okay. So it looks like it's going to be the target opposite her. She marks first. Once she absorbs all the, their stats, she moves on to another one. But the active portion is she's going to deal an attack and stun. Full Moon. Lucilla deals damage equal to 250% of her attack rating to nearby enemies with, with healing restriction for four seconds. Does that mean she's only attacking enemies that have a healing restriction on them or she's applying a healing restriction? Lucilla deals damage equal to 250% of her attack rating to nearby enemies with healing restriction for four seconds. I don't know on the wording of that. If she chases and hits a target, the damage they receive is increased by three to 350% of attack rating. 
Uh, level 2 takes 20% less damage from non-chase targets. That's always good. Increased damage to 300% of her attack rating increases the damage to the chase target by 400 uh, E30 uh, takes 50% less uh, damage from non-chase targets. Okay. It's going to be decent for like uh, scramble and stuff, I guess. Passive. Increases the defense rating by 40% and the defense rating sealed by her Crimson Scythe. One, uh, wait, increases defense rating by 40% of the defense rating sealed by her Crimson Scythe. Okay, so she increases her stats based on the sealed stats. One time per battle after taking fatal damage, Lucilla will re resurrect with 100% health. Okay, we got we, we, we got a second life. Cool. We got we got a Thorin type thing going on. Skill ups. Increases defense rating by 50% of the defense. Okay, that goes up to 50. Passive. Increases attack rating by 35%. Okay, she's going to get some big stats. I feel like bossing, we're going to do huge numbers. And she's like, yeah, I feel like we're going to be pretty good. Uh, and then this is E60. Number of resurrections increased to two. While fighting alongside Liberta, resurrections are increased to three. Um, surely a Kane user. Like, surely she's going to dominate Kane, unless we still can't get the high enough damage with her. Um, and when Liberta is about to take fatal damage, Lucilla will use up one of her resurrections to block that damage and grant him. Oh, it's a him. I always thought, I thought it was a chick. Okay, Liberta's a dude. My bad. Uh, and grant him immunity to all of the <laughs> After the start of the video, I said they knew people were waifus. I swear that was a chick. My bad. My bad. My bad. Um, man, uh, unless this is a bad translation. I, I don't know. Grant him immunity to all damage and control effects for four seconds. This cannot be. Uh, this can be triggered up to one time per battle. That's pretty cool. I mean, A60 is going to be pretty important for this, I'd say. Um, when you pair them together, I, we'll have to see how they pair together, but let's go here. Uh, all right. Signature item. While the domain is active, all allied heroes deal 5% more damage. Damage is further boosted if the allied hero's attack rating exceeds that of the enemy, uh, for a maximum of 10%. Okay. Well, okay. It goes up to 15% and then 30%. Uh, while the domain is active, all allied heroes gain 20 magic pierce points and 20 physical pierce points. In addition, uh, Liberta takes 50% less damage. So it's, we're doing the massive team up thing. Like I feel like they're really focusing in on that team up aspect. Within the domain, Lucilla's silhou silhouette will appear and use normal attacks to deal damage equal to 100% of attack rating to enemies. This effect can be triggered once every 2.5 seconds. And I'm assuming that's going to contribute to the ceiling value as well which would be handy. Furniture. Enemies within the domain take 20% extra damage. If there are more surviving allied heroes than enemy heroes, then enemies within the domain take uh, more extra damage for a max of 40%. Okay, cool. Every time Lucilla takes damage, her silhouette will appear and use full moon against the attacker. This can be triggered once every uh, five seconds. Which one's full moon? This one? Okay, not bad. I'm assuming this puts healing restriction on them. So that is not bad. She's not like a solo sustain unit. There's no healing in there that I saw. Um, she's got the extra lives. So she is going to be like a heavily, like she's going to rely on her team a lot. Um, not what I was looking for. I, I was looking for that Lucretia type character, but still, I think she's going to be incredibly viable in, um, in both bossing and in treasure scramble, I would say. Let's go ahead and take a look at her skills. Put on one time speed. Okay, that's the chase target. She should make a new chase target. Okay, so that's her little field. There she's selected the chase and darts to them. Yeah, I mean, pretty cool animations. Let's, let's speed this up a little bit. Let's face it, this is how we always watch it. All right. All right. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. All right. Let's go over here. And let's take a look. We'll just go boom, 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 boom. Who cares? Let's see what we do. Does she interrupt Olna with the chase thing? She does interrupt Olna by the look. Oh, no, no, no. I'm just, I'm just here to look at numbers at the end. It, it, this is always too hard to gauge anything off of, but yeah, Thalia did everything. She did a bit of support, I guess. 
We'll, ha we'll have to wait and see. I'll definitely test it once we get that trial version. I'm keen to test these characters. I do like them. Anyway, that is it for Lucilla. Uh, I'll get this one up and I hear my son's alarm going off, so I've got to go check on him. He's sleeping, but uh, we're, we're working on some stuff with him. So I'll, I'll put this one up and then I'll be back with the other one. If it's already up, it'll be in the description and pinned comment. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.